Right now, mostly cloudy and dry in the northern and eastern portions. Those areas are not under an elevated wildfire risk for today, so keep that in mind when it comes to the burn permits around the region and the burn restrictions. Winds at the west at 16 miles per hour, so also keep that in mind. Same conditions for Marquette, but slightly on the more moist side. We're looking at humidity at 47% compared to the 24% in, say, Houghton. Winds relatively calm in this area as well. And over the last few hours, we have seen clouds roll in, especially in the western counties, and some light showers in Gogebic County. That's kind of what we're looking at for tonight as our next round of rain moves in into the western counties tomorrow morning. For your morning commutes, we'll see that intensify in some portions Monday afternoon in the central and eastern counties, but it will make its way out by Monday evening with mostly cloudy skies across the region. Our next chances of rain, slight chances of rain in the central counties, mostly just light showers, but looking at Tuesday evening, we do have a small band of rain that touches the western counties as Tuesday night, we are keeping our eyes on more heavy bands of rain. This could lead to more severe weather possible in some areas. We'll keep our eyes on this. Models have been kind of changing up here or there when it comes to this setup. And by Wednesday morning, just some light showers. We'll keep you updated when it comes to that setup Tuesday night. When we're looking at wind for the next couple of days, it will pick up, so be sure to keep your looser items secured, especially Monday morning. Winds do pick up around 15 to 20 miles per hour in the western counties. We'll see a small break from the winds, but does definitely ramp up with that round of rain. Tuesday night could get up to 25 at 30 miles per hour in some areas as we get closer to higher winds as we get to Wednesday morning. So driving conditions Monday through Wednesday, high winds are possible, especially on Tuesday night into Wednesday as hazards right now set on the moderate side. We could see an increase in that, but we'll keep you updated as rainfall amounts will be highest when it comes to the next couple of days, especially towards an inch or more as we get to Wednesday as temperatures will cool down into the 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. Could see slightly cooler air as well by Friday as temperatures could be in the highs in the 50s, but mostly 60s for the next coming days. So about where we should be for this time of year, but it looks like another round of some more storms in some areas Tuesday night, Clint. Yeah, another really active week we saw it yesterday, and we don't really get much time of a break, and uh, it's spring in the UP. Well, we kind of need that rain's been dry in some areas. Absolutely. Thank you.